Fly, be sure to follow him. Cool amazing, guy. amazing commentator, a great host as well, MC, and just a cool guy for sure. Hey, how you doing, oh. man? What's up, man? Nice Edmund, to meet you. nice to Edmund. meet you. Andre. Andre. Call me Dre, actually. Dre? Yeah, Dre's the tag. All right. Dre, short for Andre. Yep, I yep. get it. I get it. All right. So we got game number one here of winner semis. T3 Dome and HLB. Hey, man, Loki, an upset, dude. HLB in that game against Master yeah. Marco was nasty. Yeah. He's landing all those up Bs. <laughs> punching a lot of the whiff grabs, man. Exactly. Yeah, he was, he was just spacing his aerial so well in order to get these whiff punishes. But it's going to be a little bit trickier to actually do that. He's going to need to be a little bit more aggressive against T3 Dome, who we just saw had so much success uh, netting damage against Lumbre by just using his specials and his projectiles to keep him at bay. Yeah, absolutely destroying him in the neutral the entire time. Just keeping him at bay with all of those B moves, just as he says on the tag, to just press yep. B, keeping him off on the ledge. It, you can see like Lumbre really thinking about the way that he was trying to come in, but a different story here against HLB. Trying to come in with a lot of different aerials. He comes down with the nair pretty softly every single time I've noticed, and it like nets him a pretty good opening, but oh, oh it's gone. him with the shot put straight off of the stage. Yeah, shot put, securing that first stock for HLB, and he's only setting at 52%, so he's in a really good position. Now you can see HLB shifted his focus to playing a little bit more passive. He just kept trying to close the distance, and now he's uh, being a little bit more careful around these big guys. Yeah, comfortable stuff. A lot of the things you got to do against uh, Richter is exactly you get that opening, just that touch of, uh, yep. in, the, in between all of his B moves. But you're able to punish him, you got to keep him up there, man. Keep him up there, keep him off that stage. Make sure you're punching him with really strong against the character. Alright, HLB back here by the ledge. Richter trying to get back on that falling neutral air. So good. It's like Fox, it's like yeah. Wolf. You can just like throw out a neutral yeah, air, a land with it. it. Covers uh, multiple <laughs> options. I was talking to Master Mario too after uh, he played the game against HLB yeah. a while ago with Wolf. He was just talking about how he didn't really know what to do against the way that the character was approaching. It was just like he was swinging out a, a hitbox and coming down with it really softly. And, oh, Ooh, okay. That was a. Uh, Dropped down real hard for smash. It will be up two stock, 104%. Yeah, that was interesting. Uh, T3 Dome tried to like punish something, I guess, but he just completely whiffed. Three fell into that forward smash, got heavily punished. Damn, HLB still on his first life. Oh. Just kidding. Barely able to make it back. Yeah, that upbeat is really good. Out of shield to get it as a whiff punish, but in terms of recovery, it's just okay. It doesn't have very much vertical distance. Exactly. I think that's uh, probably one of the main ways that you have to play against me, Brawler, as a character. Is once he's off that stage, too, it's the same thing as Richter. Go out there, maybe hit him with something, maybe actually get on the ledge for once, too, and maybe throw out a hitbox. But this time, Richter able to throw out a couple of uh, anti airs, trying to keep him up there, but. Noticing that he's back playing against the neutral again. Up on the wall, this is where Richter shines a lot. Able to keep the center stage. Uh, T3 Dome still having to claw his way back into this game. Down a full stock against HLB, who's only at 80%, so he's still got a pretty healthy life here. He's kind of throwing out a lot of aerials by the ledge. Parry into the up B, gets punished by an up B of T3 Dome. Throwing away, throwing away the Yeah. Falling neutral air, tries to find a forward air off of it. Yeah, you can see he's using his double jump, or, or he's jumping like right around Richter to try to bait out some option and then just land with neutral air. He's been doing that a lot. He did that in the set with Master Mario. He's doing it here against Team 3 Dome. Oh. Team 3 trying to get that shield really, really small, as small as possible, but this time he's, he plays really, really well HLB around people's neutral, you can tell. He's using these platforms to his advantage every single time, but he looks for those uppies, and that's kind of where he starts getting punished. Okay, he's like across. Ooh, gets the grab. Oh, oh he dude, got he, something. He really went for that. Super ambitious. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to go for the suicide spike there. Nonetheless, going to cost him a stock and giving <laughs> the T3 Dome an opportunity to possibly make a comeback. Okay, is that enough? Hits no. him with another one. Yeah, he's going to throw out a lot. I'm trying to land a, a electric trounce. Yep. Does get oh. Throws it out for the third time in a row. Can we make it four? Nice. Okay, tethers back to the ledge. Gets up to the stage. Forward throw to toss him back out because the shot Do put. Oh, oh, that one was super close. God. Oh. Hits him with the fourth. Up being a row. Nah, up the stage, yeah. and that's probably going to do it every single time. So, kind of like playing like the slow little game, just pushing him off to the ledge, get him to the little ledge trap. If this is some classic like Smash Ultimate for me, if you ask me. 
Yeah, Isla Mao. But, <laughs> yeah, HLB doing a really good job, just doing what I got to do. Um, as soon as he can get him off stage, he just puts Richter off there, forcing him to use his double jump and then uh, go low. And when he goes low, he has to tether to the ledge. Even if he does tether, that shot put is uh, a long-lasting hitbox that just travels in multiple trajectories. So it's very easy for HLB to kind of like set it up to where it will intercept what T3 are, Dome's recovery. What are we thinking about this Smashville counter pick for Richter right now? There's something about Richter that I noticed. I feel as if you would want to have a smaller base. space to be uh -huh. able to, you know, run him down and stay on him instead of like giving him that space to space you out and zone out. But T3 Dumb himself, clearly knowing something I don't, brings him uh, to Smashville instead. So yeah. Um. In all honesty, I mean, you're totally right. Usually, people will counter pick uh, the projectile zoners to small stages such as this one because they don't want to go to. They don't want to go to like Kalos, they don't want to go to Town and yeah, City because be it's a wide to... stage for Richter to run away. But yeah, here, uh, T3 Dome has a platform which you can potentially set up for a lot more like traps. Okay, for sure. Yeah. I'll have to ask him about that one later for sure. It said, yeah, a lot of the times it looks like he's utilizing that platform very well, just like you said. He get, goes up on top of it, drops down with something every single time. I guess it like basically controls more of a, a horizontal level for him. Yeah. That's yeah, definitely not not a bad stage uh, for Richter. Uh, so. Oh, forward smash! Yep, holy water confirming into that KO, and T3 doing moving up a stock. I think this is the first lead he's had this set. So much damage on him. Oh, drop down heavy for the dare. Oh, this might cost him a little bit. He's put him in a bad position now. T3 doing able to go off. Nice. All right. Up he gets it back out of it, throwing out the shot put now. They're basically playing the same game once they get each other off the stage. It's nothing but projectiles. Yeah, as soon as he can get an F tilt in, T3 Dome will just toss out the cross, make sure he has so much coverage right there. There's the shot put. He's going to survive ever so barely. Oh. Nah, just kidding, actually. Remember that he is Richter. <laughs> once that yeah. jump is used, it's a different story, right? Yeah, he does not have it. I mean, like, they're Ooh. trying to get a little combo going. Down throw here, confirming into the up air. Oh, oh did that no. kill? Oh, that almost, almost. If that did kill, I would have been like, man, now I understand why the good special for sure. It, it actually looked like uh, HLB's DI wasn't even the best, so it like almost killed because of it. But he was at such an early percent that like it shouldn't have killed. You can see the patience between the two players just trying to make sure that each and every single projectile that's being thrown out lands correctly every time they're off the stage, but he should be coming back with an upbeat instead. You see how he's like jumping off now a little bit with him. He's getting a little more ambitious with the shot put this time, so. Nice, and a second shot there. up, a shot put there, netting HLB, yet another stock. Yeah, so I can see like, again, why T3 Dome may have gone to the stage. You can set up the holy water on the platform and that kind of just like limits the options there while uh, throwing the cross on the lower half, it really like eliminates what what, um, what HLB can do. Similarly, for the ledge traps, you can put Holy Water at the ledge and then uh, do a double jump cross, or uh, not the cross, the uh, axe back onto that platform. Exactly, this Holy Water, I'm gonna confirm that kill though. Oh my God. Instead, I can see kind of like the HL, like, like kind of the pick going in HLB's favor a little bit though. See, he's able to get on him way more every time he whiffs something. Not really giving him that chance to get back into his comfort zone and start throwing away his projectiles now. Keeping the advantage for HLB. Okay. Neutral right here. All right. Oh my god. Holy water. Ooh, that combo. Yeah. Yeah, that was a really good read from T3 Dome. Catching the double the jump in with the air dodge. Yeah, he's with the up making smash. those holy waters fall off that platform too, so that's definitely on purpose. It's super good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely a good, a good counter pick from T3 Dome. That Ooh, axe. That's, that's, that's gonna take gonna be it. it too, man. What was he at? Like 114? That was crazy. Yeah. That kill killed. It's a heavy axe, man. Instead of man, that thing was strong. T3 Dome going even in the set now. We're yep. gonna bring it back. This is a best of three, correct? Still? One, one a game a piece. This is actually winter semis. So we, so we are playing best of fives oh, at this, this point. Is yeah, no, it's okay. a best of five. Cool. Unless something changed in like the since I've been here, which I don't <laughs> think. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt it. You know, it's funny. I haven't been here for I want to say probably like a couple months now. I want to say like two months, two to three months. 
I mostly go to Super Arcade nice. um, over there, uh, and usually we do the Ultimate Up Smash. That's where I commentate, but uh, I haven't been here in a couple of months, and I think the last time I saw there was like three, four Richters in top eight, too. Yeah, yeah. So coming back, seeing C3 Dome still actually played him in bracket, I remember that day. Um, still seeing C3 Dome doing well is actually really, really fun to see. Yeah, T3 Dome is doing actually phenomenal in the recent weeks. He's putting in a lot of work, definitely feeling the burnout, I would say, a little bit. Um, just talking about it a little bit on Twitter, but holding strong here in winter semis against HLB. Uh, it tosses the axe in the other direction, and it hits him on the way back. So we went back to the stage? That's interesting. Huh? Yeah, it looks like they both like the stage now, so. I feel like HLB was just like, man, I could have I done that. I could have done that, yeah. For sure, because they, it was looking really, really like in his favor. And then he got hit by the axe, and just like that, he gets hit by it again. Yeah, double time, though. You know, and that's a tendency that a lot of players will, like, have in this game, is that they'll lose a game on the set, and they're like, nah, just like, run it back. I know. And sometimes <laughs> it's it's okay, but I feel like mo more often than not, you should probably just go to a different state yeah, it's other a than thing, the one you know? that you yes exactly it's, it's totally a thing. They, just, they just want to think about it you know just like oh man i totally could have won that one but like if you really really think about it this character really like yeah. do well on the stage i guess it's in this matchup yeah, potentially but it's like you just lost on it right so it's like obviously it's possible that your opponent was actually just a little bit more comfortable on the stage than you were. So. What's important is always to throw your opponent off their rhythm, and yeah. that's one yeah. thing that a lot of switch your stages. Of, yeah, so. a lot of Smash players just don't do. They don't want to throw them off their rhythm, which is why we always go to PS2 back. Consistently, yeah. yeah. but letting the running up Smash for HLB now currently behind just by a little bit, 85 percent. That can be a taking stock, but you could also bring that oh, back straight up. Do it with an up B. Ooh. All right, I think with an air, what are we gonna do? This? Oh, he throws him back Sick. into the projectile. That was yeah, nice. That was cool. Definitely a good awareness from HLB. Holding on to and he timed that perfectly. Yeah. You saw that? That was good. <laughs> All right, up there. Ooh, getting with the down air. Try to hit him with the second one. Man, I didn't realize that me and Brawler's Nair was that good, man. Yeah. He was really, really abusing it. Yeah, me Brawler is not, not a bad character. Not bad. Oh, okay. Axe popping him over here. He manages the air dodge past the forward air, fortunately, for HLB. Spot dodging into the up B right now. Oh, Dude, that's Ooh, literally the combo. first did time. Not just do that. It's the first time I actually seen him throw out that move. I completely forgot he had that move. <laughs> In the two sets that I've seen him up here, that's the first time. That kill too at the putting yeah. part. Oh, taking it though. He was at a cool 168%. He really made use of that sock though, HLB. Gordon gets with the down throw, maybe we can make some kind of combo happen. Falls down with the Nair instead to get out, lands another one. Ooh, whips the grab. Because he's trying to trying to make that holy water fall again. All right, gets punished by the up V. HLB has T3 Dome here at the ledge. Gets another grab, down throw into the forward air. Tries to chain it. Oh, oh he's gone. No, 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 it doesn't. Yeah, 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 he landed into the stage. Yeah, it does that sometimes. Ooh. Oh, no, I think he lost his jump, or did he air dodge there? Yeah, not sure. I wasn't really looking at C3. Not sure, but HLB taking that game away from T3 Dome. Up two to one now in this set. Let's see, are they going to go back to that stage? I mean, that's the question. I feel now, like T3 it? Dome, I, I didn't see what stage he picked, but I feel like he he would probably want to mix it up. No way. We DK. HLB switching to the Donkey Kong. I don't know how I feel about this, man. I've seen the DK before, I think, but uh, I mean, I like it. It's just projectiles against a, a heavy, you know, yeah. like a bigger character. I feel like it might be not something he wants either. But let's see if HLB knows something I don't. Yeah, it's definitely going to be hard for HLB to kind of like close this gap between him and T3 Dome. However, yeah. when he does, He's going to be able to uh, reward it for it like heavily, right? He gets a grab right here, up throw into the up air. That's a lot of damage. But I feel like the, uh, the yes, exactly this. Okay, tosses him back into the stage. But at this percent, if he gets the cargo grab, he could just run off the stage and uh, do the, oh, uh, and Rick the down yeah, throw. Okay, yep, yep, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, right, yeah. Oh, here he goes. Here he goes. Oh, he goes oh my! He really <laughs> just did. It. Dude, I yeah. think I actually like didn't expect him to throw him into the stage. I thought he was just gonna go and go for four toss, yeah. which is what they normally do. But mix ups. <laughs> yeah, the mix up, the mix up. He didn't. You can tell if you're doing what you're expecting it either. Ooh. But here we go. The abuse. Yeah, and the fact that DK is uh, so much heavier than me, Brawler means he's gonna survive a little bit longer. So he's he survived that F smash that probably me, Brawler wouldn't have lived. 
So remember, the idea was that he went to this counter pick or went, switched to the character after. Oh, God. oh man. After uh, T3's um, picking back into Smashville. So I think the idea was that, oh, so we're going to go back to Smashville. I think I can I have a better chance with Donkey Kong on this stage. Close it together, maybe I can actually close the gap a little better. But instead, getting a little walled out now. Can't find his way back in. Okay. Oh, my God. Holy water. Netting so much damage. HLB took the first stop and now it's trailing by so much. This this is the rough part right here. It's like, okay, a, a T3 Dome, he's just gonna hold down this center stage, continue to press the B button, and not let HLB breathe. Yeah, but every time, once if he's able to get this grab, hopefully he can convert it into anything. So far T3 holding on his own. Oh, 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 catches that out too. Yeah, that was nice. Yeah, that's super fast. Oh, yep. Oh, he's still, oh, still living though. Donkey Kong paying off his face. Yeah, 186. Or right. not. <laughs> yeah, that forward air. A little bit too much damage on T3, no, or excuse me, on HLB at that point. All right, another one. Squeeze him. Yep. Oh, that yeah. was so nasty. He had Brings to. the insta jump because he has to. He, he has have to, a choice. Yeah. He's there. Yeah, so that was a really good call out from HLB. Getting the forward air to not even spike, it just killed him straight up off the side. Exactly. As close as it was this time. Richter instead, staying in front of the stage. I've seen him instead up a couple times. I don't know if he's like meaning to do that, like throw, throwing the uh, boomerang the other way, but. Oh, yeah. yeah does he mean to do that? Yes, yeah, yeah, okay, that's, okay, that's yeah, something, okay, yeah, that's something Richter that something do. Richter does. Okay. I mean, like, because as you can see, it actually allows for him, uh, more time for him to, like, if, if his opponent crosses him up, the cross will be there okay, uh, on yeah. the way back. Okay, this makes a lot of St sense. Stuff like that, yeah. Great tech. Okay, there you go. Now he read that one this time, knowing which one he's going to go, and is that going to take it? It is yes. going to take it. Barely not working out. I can see what he's trying to do, really trying to use the cheese strap, but let's see if HLB ends up sticking to it. It'll be smiling a little bit too, knowing he's just like, man, that didn't work. Yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> it I'm, work, I'm it willing works. to guess that you know HLB's mindset behind that was like, okay, I, I think this should work. I'm up two to one right now, so if I'm gonna try this matchup, it's going to be now. And he he tried it, didn't work out. I'm gonna he's gonna switch back to the brawler. Yeah, yep, okay, no yeah, question. Yeah, yeah, good read, good read. Yeah, he took him back to Smashville though, so clearly both of them very comfortable on the stage at this point. The yeah, they just—they were just like, up. I guess this is their their neutral stage. Who would have thought? <laughs> Who would have thought? thought? Yeah. Honestly, like, I feel like I'd just personally be like, Nah, I don't like this against uh, Ranger. But it is smaller, so these two actually go into the to a game five though. Yeah. Pretty close slobber knocker reset we're getting here. So far, T3 starting off strong, not even getting a touch by a single move. Okay, going back in. There you go. Time to move on him. Blocks that. Hits that away too. I wonder if that was on purpose. Nice. Okay. Take this. Oh, catches it. Yeah, both players playing incredibly safe right now. I wish HLB had actually held on to the holy water a little yeah. bit longer because it, it doesn't like detonate. It's not like a grenade. It, you can hold it onto it for as long as you want. I, I don't think Richter gets another one until it's uh, gone. So. What I enjoy watching about these higher level sets and such is like the. Just the immaculate play around items. <laughs> yeah. So, especially against these characters that like all use items. Like a lot of them are currently in the top eight right now. If you notice, um, especially with the double Bowser Jr. and stuff like that from earlier. And yeah. everyone's just so good with items, and it's like, wow. Yeah, man, you gotta be especially like even if your character doesn't have items. Wow, oh, the axe yeah, coming yeah. through, taking that first KO, and T3 Dome only at 43 percent. But yeah, you gotta be good with items because even if your character doesn't have items. If you're gonna play against a projectile character, a grabbable item character, like you're gonna want to be able to abuse those items against those characters. So you're, you're playing, to playing against Diddy Kong, you need to be able to you use the banana. banana yeah, you better catch that banana, banana, catch those peanuts, whatever you have to. T3 Dome at 106%, still holding on to his first life right here. Dash attack getting punished. Rapid jab out of shield, just rack up a quick damage. Actually positioned himself Ooh. really well to get that back air and then edge guard with the shot put, the side special coming through. Super for nasty. HLB. I'm talking, I'm telling you, that amb those ambitious, ambitious side Bs, ambitious shot puts have been putting HLB right back where he needs to be. Oh, oh he gets oh, the kill break with the, the axe was the gone. Work. That kills, dude. That's, That's gonna kill. nasty, oh, bro. He was at 48%, dog. That's not okay. It was right at the end <laughs> of the stage, dude. That's Smashville, too, you know. Those blood zones are right there, bro. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, down to our last life for HLB right here, and he lost an incredibly early one, I'm sure. He's feeling the pressure right now. Yeah, our boy's gonna have to pull it out 
somehow take away the stock as quickly as possible because you don't want Richter to run away with this. You know how he works. He's just gonna keep throwing your items, keep you away. But here we go. Get a grab, gets a, gets an up air, another up air, tries to go for the up instead. Lands it back air, good spacing, good timing with the aerial. Okay, that's the neutral one. air. Yeah, that's a really good conversion. Yeah, this is exactly what we needed. Alright, we're gonna beat the sledge trap. Ooh, barely misses. Fix him out with the uh, with the down air. Right, the axe. axe, yep, okay. Forces an early up B. Fortunately for HLB, he manages to make it back. Let me try to end it there. Ooh, the holy water like clanked with the shot foot and extended the hitbox. Yeah, that actually worked out for uh, T3 Dome. Bit of a just a uh, fortunate mishap there for Okay, we're getting him back into ledge trap situation. This time, oh, Richard going high. Oh my god. Oh, he does the axe instead of going for the up which I thought he was going to do. Almost air dodged into the axe. That was actually yeah. a great read from T3 Dome. It just it barely missed base. Barely missed base. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, every single time he's up being those axes pretty well. Fourth, though. Is that going to take? No that's going to take, dude. man. That's Ooh, crazy. me and Brawl are pretty light. For real. <laughs> pretty light. Lighter than I thought he would be. And forward throw actually surprisingly like decent kill throw. Peace out. Yeah. Richter, why is he so anime, man? I know, man. He's so anime right now. <laughs>